hi welcome i was just uh, leaving the room when i saw this beautiful wallpaper i said hey that's a nice one but i don't like the colors this is a project for gimp the wallpaper is nice but i'm definitely more fond of uh, monochrome grayish white black thing than this green can we change it we're working on xmonad so it will look a little bit dif different but it doesn't matter it's a, a desktop one of the 12 that we provide and doesn't matter so this video is just about GIMP and GIMP is an application where you can change stuff in some kind like a Photoshop let's say so what did I do um, so this is a retake actually simple screen recorder is recording to the right screen left screen I set to variety put um, the, the wallpaper we liked inside the uh, favorites so in eric.config favorites uh, there it is and then i right mouse clicked it open with gimp and then we are here somewhere there we are let's um whoa let's completely go down in the history uh filter windows history 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 do we have the history? Toolbox. Histogram. Layers path, colorgram. My control Z's would take forever, I think, but if it needs to be, undo history. There you are. So, base image. Back to the beginning. Um, and then we were fiddling about with mode. Grayscale is one option. Now oh, everything is grayscaled. I was fiddling about with um, layer, the uh, color layers here, color balance, color, hue, saturation, um, brightness and contrast things. So any of these things you can have a look at and see if you like these effects that you're doing with these colors. But basically, I want to go monochrome. So saturation is the best way to go. I say, okay, this is desaturated. No colors anymore. Then you could decide to go for the brightness, for instance. I say, okay, a little bit darker. I want it to be not that uh, white. So, okay. I've been playing around with uh, the layers as well hit down here with this plus and you have a plus you can add a layer you can add a lot of things but this is the normal mode we could use um, opacity that's a good thing but I am thinking of something else that I have not prepared fill with you could fill with the foreground color and the background color foreground color and the background color so what I've can do it immediately like this rather than using my, my bucket here and then filling this layer up you can go for opacity like so that's already something another way to darken things and the fun thing is that you can sometimes be surprised what you see when you dissolve and then with the arrow down I'm going to over going over everything this this line here the mode of this um, layer will change and you just go over it and when you reach something I say I like this but first check if this has any effect you see there's no effect in this thing um, escape yeah no yes I can go ahead with my um, bottom down key linear burn what happens then this to that okay this has an effect now I'm here again linear burn was it okay so these are the layer effects let's go quickly through them all and you can check out maybe there's something in there you like and you can go for opacity even more and less and it will make it darker Personally, I think this was okay, not working with layers. And then we say File, Overwrite, 
clear by Nuku. I'm gonna keep my 100% export. And then Super Shift Q quits the thing, disregard. And then we have somewhere here, here it is, the paper or the wallpaper. This is our result and this can go in my Dropbox and next time I can choose it. All right, enjoy.